this session of EA for inviting me to participate. The title of my presentation is Multidisciplinary Approach for the Population Study from the Late Antique to the Early Medieval Period in Bergamo area in Italy. Um, in this paper, I will propose some reflection about the late antique and the early medieval Italian population using funerary context. A case study I will present three cemeteries located in the northern uh, Italy and near around Bergamo. Their chronology range between late antique uh, and the early medieval period, and they are situated in the low plain of Bergamo near the river uh, Serio, over the line of the water springs. The cemeteries are Covo Località Bellinzana for the late antique period 4th uh, 6th century and Caravaggio Località Mosano and Faro Livana for the early medieval period 6th and 8th centuries. This is the, our uh, only a part of doctoral research project which studied uh, other seven other Italian sites dating from the 4th to the 8th century. Mm, this presentation aims to show the characteristic of the population in this area from the late antique to, um, uh, to the early medieval period, fo focusing on the themes of nutrition and individual migration. The research is based on multidisciplinary um, methodology, which includes um, archaeology, bioarchaeology, and stabilizer of analysis. Um, before introducing the site, I would like to point out some limitations of this research. The early medieval sites are still unpublished and are not completely studied, especially with regard to the great goods. The skeleton remains of the two early medieval sites were badly preserved and this uh, partial hindered both the anthropological analysis because many bones were fragments and the isotopic analysis as there wasn't enough preserved collagen in, in the samples. And um, now the sites. Covo Località Bellinzana is located near Roman Villa, which is west to the cemetery. In gates, uh, 24 uh, inhumation graves with uh, tw uh, 23 individuals. And you should see the distribution of the population by the sex and the um, age at the death. Um, about the health status of the population, um, the, uh, the population study showed a general fair health status. In fact, only few skeleton non-specific stress mar markers like uh, acribal crani <coughs> and enamel hypoplasia were found, both are male and female. The, uh, this could indicate nutritional stress for the children between 3 and 6 years old when they were particularly frail because of weaning. No skeletal markers of infection disease were found. This population was subject to hard working condition, probably related to agricultural activities, um, as intestinal changes suggest also their um, arthrosis and accidental trauma. The study of the dental pathology showed a high number of caries, most of all in mature and adult males. Instead, less common were tartar and teeth loss. This could suggest a significant use of complex carbohydrates and sugars and therefore a diet richer in, in uh, um, plants like sorghum and millets, with a normal consumption of meat and dairy products. Caravaggio Località Masano is a medieval cemetery consisting in eight burials. The topography of the cemetery clearly showed a division of the, two, the graves in two groups. The first one including the only male found in the cemetery, together with the three several adults and which another graves probably related to the sub, uh, sub adult even if uh, no skeletal remains were found inside. The second groups consist of two wo uh, women and one child. The area between the two groups was excavated but no other graves were found. Okay. Therefore we can assume this, that this cemetery was composed by little groups of graves, probably related to different families. Um, the um, three adults uh, are mature adults, where, uh, whereas the children's age range from the two, four to seven, nine years old. Mm, we don't have um, more information about the health status because the most of, uh, are very fragment fragments. About Fara Olivana, the early medieval cemetery includes 106 individuals, 20 uh, sub adults, and eight, eight six adults. The adults were, were three, three, 31 mates, 22 females and three, 34 in, in the terminate. 
the general's um, health, um, health was fair uh, with a uh, sturdy build for both for male and for males and indicator of good health status in the little number of diet related disease on children. Only a few cases of hypoplasia and equilibrium vitalia were found. Few cases of non-specific infection, metabolic disease and tumors were also found, but the little number doesn't change the gener general picture. The overall, um, the overall health status was fair, both for high status individual and for the students buried without great goods. Uh, we have a, a presence also of, of arthrosis and um, um, a, a lot of dentasal changes. They, this means uh, um, uh, population work a lot in, during the life. Dental pathology like caries and dental loss affected more heavily mature and old ma adult men, less documented uh, or calculus or tartar, and abscess. This could indicate a significant use of carbohydrate <coughs> and sugar, uh, as isotopic data confirm. Uh, while we now uh, discuss the isotopic data for the, the tree symmetry in Kobo, 21 individuals buried in 20 graves were sampled. Enamel and dentin sample were collected from 15 individuals to sample fade in the extraction of collagen. The carbon collagen value ranged from 19.7 to the 14.7, 14 so it's very wide interval. This suggests a different diet within the sample analyzed. Also, the dentin carbon values range in a wide interval from mm, 19.2 and 2. 15.1. Carbon value can be divided in two, into two groups. Most of the individuals follow, follow a diet based on C4 plants, both in childhood and adulthood. Instead, four individuals follow a diet based on C3 plants. Values in bone collagen range from um, 6 to uh, 6.7 to 11.3, while dentin values range from 6.7 to uh, 9.2. People uh, from this cemetery took the same typology of qu uh, quantity of protein with no significant variation in the, in the lifetime. In funds, a higher nitrogen value. There is no significant difference based on the gender. The separation of the population into two groups based on the carbon value, see previous plots, has not a correlation with the anthropological data. The subject with the highest nitrogen value is the child with uh, two or three years old in the yellow on the top. This value reflects the breastfeeding and thus indicate the weeding was then done when children uh, were older. The arrow specific diet changes during the life. The mature male in, in the down part of the plot in blue um, show a changes in the value of the carbon. Uh, during childhood dentin symbolized by the empty square is diet mixed C3 and C4 cereals the values in fact lies in the intermediate range. Instead, during the adulthood, the diet was based on C3 plants. The other arrows indicate vari variation that fall within the range of the two macro groups, C3 and C4, and thus not show substantial changes in diet over lifetime. About oxygen and carbon, uh, the value of uh, enamel values of the Kogo symmetry are plotted by sex. Oxygen values are distributed in a narrow range. This indicates a single source of water and therefore a similar origin. Carbon value indicates that the diet of the most individual was based on C4 plants. Instead, only for two individuals, diet was based on C3 plants in childhood. Um, bone collagen sample from Caravaggio failed during the pre-treatment in extraction collagen. The analysis of considered dental enamel of seven individuals and dentin of the adults, so uh, we only have information about ch childhood of the sample analyzed. From Fara Olivana, 24 graves out of uh, 106 were sampled for the isotopic analysis. Sampling followed different parameters, chronology of the graves, sexual dimorphism, topography of the cemetery, presence and absence of the grave goods. Both bone and tooth sample uh, were taken except for the uh, one male, and only three samples failed during the collagen extraction because of, of the bad preservation of the bones. We can see any variation in diet between childhood and adulthood. All the population followed a diet based on C3 plants. Considering that in dentin nitrogen values, in individuals can be divided in two groups. With higher nitrogen value, indicating a higher protein consumption, with lower, and then the second one, uh, with a lower nitrogen value, meaning a more limited uh, consumption of meat and secondary animal production. 
Nitrogen collagen values are very con concentrated, suggesting the use of similar protein resources, except for a single outlayer with a very high value, if you see here, this one. Oh. Uh, okay. Um, um, okay. The next one, uh, data suggests uh, um, homogeneous food consumed without any distinction by sex or age. There are specific diet changes during the life courses. No one has drastical changes the diet. Changes don't follow a, a, an unique trend, and this means that, that there was not an unique diet for the whole communities. And another significant fact is that most of the individuals ex experience a lowering of an animal protein consumption during their lifetime. Um, uh, with the reference to the first symmetry, uh, oxygen isotope of two individuals, um, uh, graves 27 and 29 of Caravaggio, have a different value. This may, may, may indicate the exploitation of different water resources and possible a different origin, especially for the individual with more positive value. Regarding carbon, the individual from Caravaggio have a value related to a C3 based diet in childhood, except for individual graves 29, was diet based on C4 plants. Oxygen value of selected sample from a far away Rimano suggests the individual with the same water resources and therefore they, they possibly have the same origin. Uh, only for individual and a mixed diet based on also C4 plants. Uh, we also selected found that skeleton remains coeval to the cemetery was collected from six sites in the proximity, proximity of the, uh, the analyzed sample. This material comes from an unpublished site and was a kindly given by superintendent. And if you see, we have a very most various value of the fauna. About the conclusion, in this slide we also see the, um, all the data about the tree cemetery and uh, in connection with the um, uh, fauna remains. And it was, it's very clear the distinction from the late antique data and the early medieval data with the uh, fauna remains. Considering only um, um, uh, COVO, um, the correlation between the carbon value of two fauna samples, uh, sheep and goats and pigs from the same site with humans, suggests that they had two different diets, the farmer, the farmer based on C3 plants and the later on C4 plants. This could indicate that the feed for the animal was produced with using C3 plants. In Covo Localita Berentana, the population was they eat mostly sorghum and millet, C4 plants, except for four people with a C3 plant based diet. The fauna sample of the same size showed they had a, a varied uh, food su supply based on C3 plants. About the lumbar symmetry, a uh, mm, value related um, that it, its area's um, alimentary ecosystem was based on C3 plants with a normal protein consumption. We can also compare these data with the values from the other necropolis, published and unpublished. And all the data speak about a, in the lumbar pe uh, period, the uh, population um, have a diet based on C3 plants. Only a few uh, sample have a diet based on C4 plants. Mm. Uh, the preference of the, the C3 cereal by early medieval population, in this case the Lombards, can be related to different motivation. It could be a cultural choice or, or it could be linked to the possibility to have access to all the Atari's resource. <coughs> as it seems that when the Lombards arrived in Italy, they became an owners of some lands, previously owned by the Roman landings class. About the oxygen analysis, we also performed to investigate the mobility, but the method didn't identify migrants for sure because of the complexity of the isotop isotopic results. The different sites show ample scattering values. Within each uh, cemetery, some outlayers were, were identifiable, but the comparison with the other cemeteries blurred the difference and values seem to the homogeneous and even sample samples with apparently no local values were undistinguishable from the others. Within the three symmetries from Bergamo, only the oxygen value of May from Caravaggio could indicate a different uh, birth place. Uh, in the last, I will now show the potential of the integration of different methodology using this work, focusing on Caravaggio symmetry. 
Here you can see a map of one a group of Caravaggio cemetery. This group is composed one one male and four children. As you can see in this plot, which show carbon and oxygen enamel values of both the two early medieval cemetery of Bergamo area. The male has significant different value than the other individual from the same cemetery and the other one. This means that he probably comes from a different place than the others. In the fact, children uh, 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 who probably were born there uh, uh, have a local trace, but we can suggest they are part of the same group because of the local location of the grave, the presence of similar Lombard grave goods, and also for the similar typology of the non-local grave. In fact, the archaeologists found wooden axes in, uh, preserved below and above the mail. We can also compare the different uh, um, is a topic analysis from the main man of Caravaggio. We have already seen the carbon and oxygen value in, in, in enamel. On the bottom left, the carbon uh, value of dentin and dental enamel show the, that this individual had an on overall diet based on C4 plants. But the protein he assumed reflect a C3 plants based ecosystem. In fact, in, in another plot about the carbon and nitrogen value in dentin, we can see the individual had a diet based on C3 plants. This means a change in the diet and probably suggest a migration during the childhood. I will conclude with the some research perspective. The integration between the different methodology has given more information about past population. However, the comparison of the data about diet with other cemeteries and the data coming from the other disciplines such as archaeobotany, archaeobotany and zooarchaeology could be available the reconstruction of more accurate framework about the past landscape and ecosystem uh, at least locally. Using different disciplines to study funerary context can, uh, can the tools give information not only about the cemetery themselves but also about the context in which they are located.